We all love taking photos with our phones, but hate it when this message pops up. That means you're going to have to go into your photos application and manually delete the photos you don't want before you can start taking more photos. It's just a waste of time, especially if you're trying to capture a photo right at that moment. So here are three possible solutions to that problem. We're going to take a look at Google Photos, Dropbox, and iCloud and see which platform is the best cloud solution for you. Before we get started, if you want to see more videos on tech news, reviews, and opinions, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Let's get started. Let's start with compatibility. If you have an iPhone, you're golden. You have iCloud with the Photos app built right in, and you can easily install Dropbox and Google Photos from the Apple App Store. If you have an Android phone, you can scratch off iCloud. There is no installing iCloud onto your Android phone, and you're stuck with Google Photos or Dropbox. All three applications allow you to easily upload your photos to their servers, either manually adding them to the application through options menu on the photo, or doing an automatic upload to the cloud. Let's start with iCloud and the Photos app. Like I said, it's built right into the iPhone. You're going to go into the Settings app and then to the Photos option. There you will see the option to automatically upload your photos to iCloud and have access to those photos on any device with your iCloud account. Then you have the option to optimize your iPhone storage, which will replace your full resolution photos with smaller device size versions when your iPhone is low on space. You can always download the full resolution version from iCloud at any time. The bad part about iCloud storage is you only get the first 5 gigabytes of storage free, which, if you take a lot of photos, should be used up pretty quickly. But you can easily buy more storage by going into settings, clicking your profile up top, clicking the iCloud option, and then manage storage. 99 cents a month will get you 50 gigabytes, 299 will get you 200 gigabytes, and 999 a month will get you up to 2 terabytes of cloud storage, which should be way more than enough for most people. Next is Google Photos, and this might be the no-brainer for most people. It works on either Android or iOS, and in order to get started, you're going to need to log into your Google account. Once that's done, you go into the settings and then the option Backup and Sync. Here it gives you the option to automatically backup and sync your phone's photos with the Google Cloud Photos. It also shows you how much storage you have left. But the great part is that Google actually gives you free unlimited storage at a high quality. They don't specify what quality video or photos that is, but if you want that original full resolution, you have the option of selecting that as well. Google only gives you 15 gigabytes of free original full resolution storage. Otherwise, you can buy more storage, anywhere from 100 gigabytes to 30 terabytes, which is $299.99 a month. But that definitely is unnecessary for mostly anyone. One great feature is the option found in the menu that says free up space. By clicking this option, Google Photos will scan your phone and can easily delete any photos on your device that have been already backed up to the cloud. So you can easily and quickly free up your device's storage. I found that the free unlimited high resolution storage is the best option for most people. Photos look just as good and will be just fine for normal smartphone camera shots. Unless you need that raw picture file for photo editing or video editing. The last option is Dropbox, which you will also need to download from either the Apple App Store or Google Play and create a Dropbox account. Dropbox has the ability to back up your device's photos as well, but it doesn't give you a free option to do so. Dropbox gives you the initial 4GB free of storage and you can easily save photos into the cloud by selecting the photo you want to save, hitting the share icon, 
and selecting the Dropbox icon. If you want to automatically upload any photo you take, well, you're going to have to upgrade to Dropbox Plus. This will allow you to back up your device's photos and videos automatically. And it also gives you 2 terabytes of cloud storage. The one benefit with Dropbox is that you have the ability to upload documents and files to the cloud as well. And everything is all in one application, as opposed to having to use other applications to do the same thing with the other two options. All in all, these three options are great. And you can't really go wrong with either one. You can access the photos you upload to either of these three options on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. You obviously would need an internet connection to view and download them to either device, and iCloud is only going to be available on Apple products. But the best all-around option has to be Google Photos, simply because it gives more options. It's available on any platform, and you get free, unlimited, high-resolution storage, which is something the other two don't offer. So if you're looking for a cloud storage option that's free, available on almost any device, and is easy to set up and use, Google Photos is definitely worth taking a look at. What did you think of the video? Which cloud storage option do you prefer? Let me know with a comment down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.